Hey y'all, BB here. Welcome to my channel where I do fashion and beauty videos. And if you're a channel subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So today I'm going to be doing my fall beauty video. I've never done one of these before, but I felt really inspired this year after watching a couple and I decided to go ahead and get all the things in my makeup arsenal that I tend to grab and gravitate towards during the fall. And I'm talking about certain formulas, certain colors and undertones and things like that. And I will be talking about fragrance as well. So I want to go ahead and get started on eyeshadows. And the types of shadows that I reach for during this time of year are mostly singles. I do like one and done shadows. Those are probably my favorite types of eyeshadows to wear and ones that I use the most. I only have a couple palettes and I really don't, you know, gravitate towards them at all really. Um, but the tones that I want to talk about today specifically are roses and mauves and olives and also I want to throw in some cool tones like gunmetals and grays and colors like that. So I want to go ahead and start with the main rose mauve eyeshadows that I reach for during this time of year and really any time of year but I feel like they shine in the fall and winter. So I want to start with T-Rose from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I purchased this product last year during her Black Friday sale and when I first got this I really didn't like it and just because it wasn't what I was expecting it to be I thought it was going to be a lot richer than it is and um like brighter I guess on my skin tone but I actually have grown to like this color a lot. I feel like the Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeshadows are very nuanced. They have a lot of colors built into one shadow. They're really, really soft and really easy to apply. They are pricier, but I feel like they are worth the price, especially when you can get them on sale. I just feel like the user friendliness of it and the color payout that you get, the pigmentation and the formulation and how well it looks and sits on the eye and you get a lot of wear out of this like a long time I feel like it's worth the price I love the packaging all her packaging is like this tortoise shell and the pot is glass and the lid is plastic but the packaging is really really nice so you do get that luxury vibe and feel when you use her products at least I do so yeah I really like this color the next rose tone shadow that I reach for around this time of year is the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize in sunset rose i believe this was limited edition but i'm pretty sure that the shade that came out a few months ago called pillow talk is the same shade as this so they just have different names but i think they're pretty much the same i really like this one this one's definitely a cream and the victoria beckhams are more of like a putty type of feeling and they're not like super creamy in a way where they feel wet this one does feel wet when you touch it the Victoria Beckham ones feel more powdery but they are still creamy and with this product you don't want to use a lot because if you use too much it is going to crease in your eyelids and most shadows crease on me anyways because I have creases in my eyelids like most people do which there's nothing wrong with that you can use a primer to kind of prevent that some and make your eyeshadows last longer but I really like this color I feel like this one is a easy everyday type of shadow that you can wear because there's no glitter in it it's just a really nice wash of rosy mauve on your eyelids next I want to talk about these two liquid eyeshadows from beauty counter I have the shades dusk and I have the shade haze haze is pinkier and lighter and dusk is more of like that rich mauve brownish pink color i really like these because they're really easy to use but i will say they are kind of patchy so when you put these on kind of let the layer dry down a bit before you go in with another layer because it's going to kind of pick up that color underneath the brand did send these over to me and i have a few other colors but these are like two of the colors that i'm really liking that go with other types of mauves and roses that I'm already wearing. I want to mention this shade in my Rowan 1111 palette. This shade is called Rosie. This is a really pretty 
rose color as the name suggests and the main reason i'm mentioning all of these shadows is because if you have one of these you don't need all of these because they're all pretty similar unless you want one that's more for every day and one that does have glitter in it for like going out or evening um you know makeup so yeah i just wanted to mention all of them that i have in my collection because you don't need all of them just to show you that they are pretty similar and you'll see that in the swatches and lastly, for my rose and mauve colors, I want to talk about the Hourglass Scattered Light in Rapture. This is a really pretty rose color as well. And this one has gold flecks in it. So I really like this one when I want, like, you know, an eye that's giving a little bit more. And I love this one as well. Really pretty and really super easy to use. This one is the most like a powder when you touch it and apply it than any of the other formulas that I've talked about. So getting into olive eyeshadow colors, this is a color story or realm of colors that I really haven't dabbled into until this year, but I'm really liking how it looks on me. Today I have on the matte shade from my Glossier's Monochrome's palette in Prairie in the crease and kind of just like on the outer edge and inner corner of my eye. I really love this color. It translates really well on my skin tone and my brown eyes. And I find that cool tones complement me a lot better than warm tones. If I'm gonna be wearing a warm tone, it's gonna be like a rose color, just like all the colors that I just spoke to you about before this. I'm really liking olives for the fall and all of these colors in the monochromes palette work for me because you get a matte, you get a shimmer, and you get a metallic. So you can kind of just customize your look to what you're going for that day or how it is you want your makeup to turn out. Continuing with the olive theme, I have here the Beauty Counter. I think these are called the Lid Glow Cream Shadows. This is in the shade Prism. This is a really pretty olive green color with some gold reflex in it. It's a liquid eyeshadow, but like I said, when you put your first layer on, you kind of want to let it dry down for a few seconds before you go in with another layer if you do want to build up the color. Now going into some more cool tones, we're going to be going into this gunmetal range of colors. I have here Mink from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Sometimes it looks like it has like a greenish grungy undertone to it. Sometimes it looks silver. Sometimes it looks more gunmetally. But most of the time when I wear this, it pulls very gunmetal silverish. It is what I have on my eyelids today. But in different lights, I just feel like it kind of picks up different colors. And obviously on different skin tones, it's going to look different as well. It's very, very unique. I don't have anything else like this in my collection. I've never seen another eyeshadow quite like this one because it is so different on everyone but I feel like it's wearable for pretty much any skin tone so I love this one this is definitely probably my favorite eyeshadow in my entire collection and I love wearing this eyeshadow in the fall and winter it really just it's my go-to and sticking in that grayish gunmetal color scheme next I have another lid glow from beauty counter this is in the shade twinkle this one's a really pretty almost like taupish gray it's a little bit of a warmer gray so it kind of pulls like yeah kind of like a taupey gray on me but it does show up and i do really like this one and i feel like this one is gonna be a good one for me this year and the last Victoria Beckham Beauty shadow I want to talk about today is Midnight. I really love blue. Blue is my favorite color to wear in clothing. Um, it is a bit trickier when it comes to blue in makeup. I feel like the only time I'm going to wear blue is eyeshadow. I know there are like blue lipsticks and stuff out there, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave those for the people who like to wear blue lipstick. Um, but I like this eyeshadow. I feel like it gives me a really sophisticated blue look to my eyes because blue can get very playful really quickly and there's nothing wrong with that that's just not the look that i'm going for in my makeup and um i did a new year's look last year with this eyeshadow and i'll link that video here 
that makeup turned out so pretty. I love that look and I'm excited to use this again this year. It's definitely a shadow that I really wouldn't use any other time of the year other than right now. And I feel like the fall and winter is a good time to pull out those deeper blues and purples that you really wouldn't wear any other time of the year. So now that we're done with eyes, I wanna go ahead and get into lips and I'm gonna start with glosses and shinier lip products for the lips. And my all-time favorite lip product from this year was the Glossier Ultra Lip in Cache. I wear this pretty much all year round. Ever since I've gotten it, I've worn it almost every day. But this color is perfect for the fall and winter because it is like that deeper brown walnut -y color on my lips. I really love this color and this is all I have left of it. <laughs> I got this when they came out. So yeah, I love this. And I'm also excited to wear Ember more this fall and winter. Ember is a bit of a richer, more purpley color in the Ultra Lip. It's very similar to Cache, but it just goes a little bit more plummy and richer in color. So I really like this one as well. And the Ultra Lips, if you haven't tried them out yet, I'll link uh, my video right here where I swatch all of the ones that I have and I did like a little mini review they're super thick and nourishing but they really do leave a nice color on the lips now for lip gloss I fell in love with this one from Noya this is the melted mocha color in her lip gloss such a pretty and flattering color it's a very warm chestnutty color on my lips really love this perfect for the fall like this is the epitome of a fall lip gloss and I feel like it will look good on so many different skin tones. And lastly, I have here the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly in the color Almonds. This just leaves a very, very slight light brown color to my lips. I don't really wear this when I'm wearing like makeup makeup um, just because I feel like it's very subtle. So when I have on like my no makeup days, this is a lip gloss that I would reach for. So moving on for lip products, I feel like the fall and winter is a really suitable time for matte lips. In the summertime, you know, people really like that juicy, glossy, wet looking lip. But I feel like the fall is perfect for that nice matte lip and more like not super full coverage makeup, but just more refined makeup looks and more eyeshadow and more glitters and things like that. So my favorite types of colors to wear in the fall are definitely mauves and roses. That goes back to the eyes, but I love it on my lips as well. And I'm going to show you swatches of all of these. The first one I want to talk about is Calvados from Bite Beauty. This is a really pretty mauve color that I feel like will be suitable for a lot of different skin tones just because it's a really nice neutral mauve shade and the crayons from Bite Beauty are such a nice formulation. They go on super easily. They just glide on the lips and they last a really long time. Love these and they also smell good. I don't know if you all are aware, but there is a store called the Cosmetics Company Store and I'm pretty sure it's like an Estee Lauder owned company. So all the Estee Lauder brands are in there at outlet malls and they have like Mac, Too Faced, um, Bobbi Brown, Tom Ford, Clinique and those Estee Lauder brands at a really heavily discounted price. And I was at the outlet mall not too long ago. So I stopped in there and I found this. This is the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lipstick. And I got this in the shade over the taupe. So I feel like this color is really, really pretty. It's a more muted and neutral mauve, even more neutral than the Bite Beauty one. Now that I think about it, that Bite Beauty one is a little bit warm, but this one is like super neutral and um, it's really flattering. And this formula is so, so soft, like Powder Kiss. Yes, th that name is perfect for the way that this looks and feels on the lips. It's a very, very comfortable matte lip that kind of just feels like a cushion on your lips. So 
I hadn't tried anything from MAC in a really long time in terms of lip products and I really do like this one and I think I got it for like $15. Um, I don't buy MAC in the department store and the only reason I buy MAC is because I get a really good discount when I do find things that I like at that store. So if you have an outlet mall, check to see if you have a cosmetics company store in your area. They have tons of brands and they even have fragrances and yeah you'll definitely find something that you like in those stores so the last two mobs that i want to talk about are the colors pose and play from victoria beckham beauty pose is what i have on my lips today this is what the lipstick looks like it's a really pretty mauve tone and this is probably my favorite out of her collection this is more of a cool tone mauve and it's perfect, especially with the look that I have on today since my eyes are very cool tone. So I love this and I actually have it on with her lip liner in 05 as well. And I did a whole video and have swatches of those lip liners. So I'll link that video right here for you so you can check that out. And the next color I wanna talk about from Victoria Beckham Beauty is called Play. This is definitely more of like that brown um, mahogany type of lip color, but on me it pulls a little bit reddish. So I really do like this one. But I do have two oranges and I don't wear these like pretty much at all. I wear these really only this time of the year specifically. And the first one I wanna talk about is from ColourPop. I don't even know if they still have this shade, but it's the shade Ziggy. And I need to go ahead and wear this before it's out of season for me. Um, this is a very like bright, brighter orange terracotta, like a burnt orange terracotta on me. Really like this. It's a really pretty kind of like punchy orange for me because I don't really wear orange lipsticks. And next is the Ilia Color Block Lipstick in Cinnabar. This is a very unique shade. I don't really have anything else like this in my collection. It's like a neutral orange but it's also like a creamier neutral orange it has a little bit like a maybe like some white in there that gives it like a creamy look i can really only wear this with a lip liner i have to wear this with a dark brown lip liner either 05 or 06 from victoria beckham beauty's lip definer line so but i really do like this and it turns out really pretty on my lips when i wear it and for some reason i like to wear it when i have on cool tone eyeshadow i just feel like it really balances out the look when i have like Kind of a warmer lip and a cool tone eyeshadow it just works for me with this specific color now for some reds because you're definitely going to need a good cool tone red and a good warm tone red in the fall and winter the first one i'm going to mention is from victoria beckham beauty's line as well this is in the color pop this is a very cool tone bright red color and I feel like everybody needs a cool and a warm tone red in their makeup collection. If you're a makeup lover, I think you'll definitely appreciate the differences between the two of them and how they look, you know, with your makeup. So this is the color Fire from Victoria Beckham Beauty's line. And you can see that it's just a very warm tone compared to Pop. Put them side by side. Pop is the cool tone and fire is the warm tone. I don't really wear red lipstick and this is around the only time that I would wear red lipstick so I definitely had to mention that in this video. Now for three brown lips. I have here another one of the Bite Beauty lip crayons. This is in the shade Cognac and this is a very, very dark, dark reddish brown color perfect for this time of year of course and i love that formula it's one of my favorite lipstick formulas next here we have another victoria beckham beauty posh lipstick in the color fringe this is a really really pretty and unique brown color it's a very warm tone on me it's um like a warm brown with like some chestnut color undertones in there really really pretty and i think would look really good on a lot of skin tones. The Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm in the color Faded. This is just a really pretty lip balm, like a, like a, this is a neutral brown color on me. 
almost the color of my skin when I put it on, but if I layer it on, it's a little bit deeper. But I really, I really do like this one and it's really pretty for everyday type of fall looks. Okay, so moving on, I want to talk about a few blush colors that I gravitate towards this time of the year. I don't really wear berries that much, but if I do, it's definitely going to be right now, which I feel like is most people. So the berry color blushes that I want to mention today, I have one here from MAC. This is their Glow Play blush in Rosie Does It. I got this blush again from that cosmetics company store. It looks quite intimidating in the pan, but once you put it on your hand and rub it out, it does look a lot more wearable. So there is there. Really like this one. And the formula is really super unique. It's like a putty almost. And the next berry tone blush I want to talk about is Eve from Glossier. I was surprised that I like this one as much as I do. This is more of like an elderberry shade. You can see it here. This is the Glossier and that's the MAC. And I like to wear berry blushes when I have a more toned down look on my eyes just because berry blushes are not like the blush that I feel most comfortable in. And I don't want to do too much with my makeup when I do wear a berry blush, if that makes sense. The last few tones for blushes, I have more of like that burnt kind of orangey nude terracotta-ish color. And the first one I want to talk about is one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is Kiss of Rose from Bare Minerals. I do have this on today, so I'll show you, you know, me putting this on. This is just such a pretty, beautiful, burnt, rose, terracotta, peachy, pumpkin spice type of color. I think that this actually, it's right here. I think this is actually discontinued, either discontinued or they only bring it out in the summertime. To me, of course, this is a really nice summertime shade because it's, it's a bronzer, it's like a blush and bronzer in one. But I feel like this looks really good in the fall as well. So yeah, I really love this color. And again, it's what I have on today and I feel like it looks perfect with this look. The next blush I wanna talk about is the Cheek Pop Blush Pop from Clinique in the shade Colourpop. And this is like a red tone blush, but it kinda has some brown in it too. So you get a really pretty color on the cheeks. That's it right here, if you can see that. And I got this again at that same um, discount store at the Outlet Mall Cosmetics Company store for like $5. So this here is Bare Minerals Strike a Rose. This is such a pretty color. I don't, I didn't feel like it would look good on me just because of the way it looks in the pan. But this is such a pretty color and I'm so glad that Bare Minerals sent this over to me. I really love this. It looks really good on my skin tone. This swatch is not going to do it justice at all. I'm just going to have to put it on in a video. It's like, it's a true rose color on my cheeks, but it's very warm. So sometimes when I have on like cool eyeshadow, I do like to wear a warm blush. And I really, really like this one. Just like today, I have on a cool eye, but I have on a, a very warm blush with this eye look. I really like this color. I feel like... People kind of sleep on Bare Minerals blush formulations. So last color family for blush is going to be red. And I really, really like Spark from Glossier. I feel like not a lot, a lot of people talk about this specific shade from Glossier because it just, it does look intimidating, but this is the perfect time to wear a shade like this. And I really like this one on my cheeks. It just kind of makes me look really like young and fresh and yeah like I ran through a fjord um like khaki says but yeah so it's such a really pretty color the last red blush I have here is from Era Perez this is her color carrot pot in the color hello this one is definitely punchier even punchier than the Glossier one but you can make it work so there it is right there 
And I feel like this one will be really good for those who like more of a cream blush application than a liquid blush. Really, really nice color payoff in this color pot as well. Now that we've talked about makeup for what, 20, 30 minutes, I want to mention some fragrances that I reach for this time of year. I feel like last year and beginning of this year, I started really getting into niche fragrances. I've always been into fragrances, but I had never tried brands like Diptyque or Le Labo. And I finally got my hands on some of those products. My all time favorite scent for the fall and winter is going to have to be Te Noir 29 from Le Labo. This scent is just so, so beautiful, so nuanced. It's spicy, it's musky, it's woody. There are notes of fig, bay leaves, tea, vetiver, musk, and I believe there's bergamot in here as well. You can look up the notes, um, but that's kind of like all I can remember right now. But it's just, it's a very spicy scent but it's also sharp and warm at the same time. It's, you just have to, you just have to smell it yourself. So I got sick at the beginning of this year and I still don't have my full sense of taste and smell back. I know like that's actually crazy that I'm still recovering. I can't quite smell exactly what I used to smell when I got this before I got sick. And I'm just ready to get my senses back 100% so that I can smell it again like I did the first time I smelled it. I can smell notes of it and I can smell it quite a bit, but I still can't smell like that exact same scent that I had the very first time that I smelled it, if that makes sense. One of their other scents that I recently got into is Rose 31. And this is just, like it says, a rose scent. Really love rose scents on me, but I don't like sweet rose scents. I like um, more musky rose scents. So yeah, and all of the fragrances from a Labo are considered unisex fragrances for everyone. So yeah, I love this one for this time of year as well. So I do want to mention the body cream from Le Labo. This is in the Hinoki Avocado scent. I'm actually not big on Hinoki and I can smell it a little bit in here and that's probably because like I'm still getting all my senses back. But this Hinoki is, it's not too strong from what I can smell. And it's more of like a spicy warm Hinoki and I really like this, this body cream because it sinks in super quickly. I do not like body creams that I can feel on my skin that I can just feel sitting on top of my skin and won't just, they won't absorb because my skin is not very absorbent. Even like the skin on my face, if you've been following me for a while, like with other like skin tints and products that I put on my skin just doesn't really absorb them that well. And I feel like that goes for like my entire body. Um, so I really like this one. And lastly for body and for the rest of the video, I want to mention the Necessaire the Body Serum. This is like hyaluronic acid serum for your body. I love hyaluronic acid serum. My favorite one is the Moon Juice Plump Jelly. Love it so, so much, all time fave. And I've actually been using this on my face too because I ran out of my plump jelly and I haven't repurchased it yet because I'm gonna wait until the VIB sale. But yeah, I love this one, really great for the body. So I'll put this on and then I'll put on like a body lotion or like this body cream to really lock in that hydration with moisture. So I really love this for the time, this time of year because my skin gets really dehydrated. I don't really have dry skin, but for some reason, my skin does tend to be dehydrated. So I feel like this was the perfect addition to my body care routine. So those are all my fall beauty favorites and just products that I gravitate towards to this time of year. Colors I tend to use this time of year. Formulas I tend to, you know, like to put on my face this time of year and a little bit of fragrance and body care as well. If you like this video and if you found it to be helpful, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you're already subscribed. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here. I have tons of coupon codes down below. I'll link all the products that I talked about today so that you can check them out if you're interested. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the swatches. I was inspired by another YouTuber 
and beauty content creator Becca Sun to include all the swatches because she did her fall beauty video and she included a ton of swatches and that inspired me to do that for this video as well because I found that super helpful and I wanted to do the same for people in my skin tone range. I really like this type of video and I'm excited to continue making content for y'all. I do have a VIB sale recommendation video coming up. I'm probably just going to do like top 10 products from Sephora or maybe top product from every category that I'd recommend. So I can do like foundation, concealer, blush, um, mascara, and kind of just like categorize it that way. Just one product from each category. Please let me know in what format you'd, you know, prefer that video in either a top 10 or like a, you know, one product from each category type of thing, because I don't want the video to be too, too long. And that those types of videos can tend to be long. And I am going to include my wish list this year as well. What the things that I am wanting from Sephora from the sale this year and what's in my cart. So I hope you're all well. Please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and please don't forget to subscribe as well. I thank all of you for all of your support. I just recently hit 2,000 subscribers, so thank you, thank you, thank you so, 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 so much. I hope you're all well, and i catch you next time.